Hi all, this is Chris Charles, Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be digging through quick cut, quick keys, shortcut keys, whatever you want to call them. They will make your life a ton easier. So, we've got nine of them. These are ones that I use uh, pretty much all the time. So, we're going to go over them. First one is Alt F11. If your Visual Basic Editor is close, you know, nice little crab background right here. If you hit Alt F11, that will open your Visual Basic Editor. Now, you can get there through the Developer tab. You can also get there through the uh, View tab. Um, it's just easier to do Alt F11, so always do it that way. So next one we want to do is step into the code or do one line at a time. If I hit F8, it's going to turn the line that it's going to process yellow. And it, if I hit F8 again, it is going to take it to the next line. I'm going to hit, hit that again. It's going to give me a nice little message box because that's what I told it to. I should have put Hello World because that's what you're supposed to do in your first uh, first coding exercise in basically every language, or at least that's what you used to do back when you had to learn from books. All right, moving on. So the next thing you want to do is add a breakpoint. I'm actually going to stop this. So if I am on this line and I hit all, if I hit F9, it is going to put in a breakpoint. Now you can also do that with your mouse. So if I come over here and I click here, um, now to get rid of that breakpoint. You just unclick it. Now, what is a breakpoint? If I hit F5, which is my next uh, quick key, that just is run. Now, F5 is the same as this little guy right here. Hit play. I hit F5, and it's going to go to that breakpoint, and it's going to break the code, or it's going to stop the code so that you can uh, do whatever you need to do at that point. All right. The next thing is I have a nice little infinite loop right here. If I hit F5, Five, it's going to run through this and it's just going to loop until it goes uh, forever, basically. Now, I always, in my loops, I use do events. And what that does is it, it tells Excel, I need you to slow your processor down and wait to see if there's any keys, um, any key presses or anything from Windows that I need to get. Otherwise, you end up with the white screen of death and you have to shut your, co shut your computer or shut Excel down. You lose your work pain in the tail. So I'm going to be brave. I'm going to hit F8. It's going to run it. I've got VBA is cool. Now I'm in the infinite loop. You'll notice that it says running. I'm going to hit control break and it breaks. Notice it breaks on the do events. We are good to go. Now this is an infinite loop. Um, it will cause you problems. So we are going to just get out of that loop. The next, the next couple options are your object browser. Now your object browser is basically like your, uh, it's like a reference library. So if I hit F2, it is going to open up the object browser, which is also uh, this little guy right here. And it, this object browser, if I wanted to do select, if I wanted to type in selection, And you could come in here, you could hit enable selection, and it's going to give you all of the code that's associated with that, that piece of code. So it's just kind of a quick reference guide. It's pretty awesome. Um, you will actually use that more as you start coding. Um, and then the, the more you learn, you, I, I don't use that a whole lot. Because um, uh, typically, I mean, I'm writing stuff from scratch. Uh, you can also, uh, the best object browser is Google, obviously. Um, that's a great way to learn pretty much anything. All right, so properties window. If I hit F4, it's going to highlight my properties window, which is right here. Very useful in forms. Um, not so useful if you're in a module, because basically all the properties of the module are is what's your module name. Uh, the next thing we've got is property methods. Now, this is actually pretty cool. You can actually do the same thing if you hit right, right click. Um, hold on. So if I'm here, I'm going to hit Control J. And it's going to give me basically my IntelliSense, which is pretty nice. Um, you can also do the same thing if you do a left click. Sometimes um, depends on what you're on. So if you're on a method, or uh, uh, it will give you different options. So try to use your try to use your right click as you're learning the code. Um, could be could be very helpful. The next thing, the last thing, Alt G. That is your immediate window. Um, your immediate window is a window in which you can execute a single line of code. Now, I used to, I, I didn't use this for a very long time, then I discovered it, and now I use it quite a bit. So, 
for example, if I put a question mark and I go X, it's going to give me what X is. Now, X is not anything within this, within my code, uh, but I can also execute single lines of code. So, for example, uh, if I wanted to go active sheet.name equals new name, and if I hit enter, it's going to actually execute that, execute that line of code, and it is when I hit enter, and it's going to change my sheet name. Um, hopefully it does. It does. Yay. Everybody wins. So those are your, your everyday VBA shortcut keys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you used these. Hope it makes you even faster at writing code. Make sure that you're subscribing to the Everyday VBA channel as well as leaving your likes or your comments. If you got questions, send them to me. I hope you guys enjoyed.